Hey guys, how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and today we're going to be actually not talking about the Galar region. Um, that's going to be delayed for at least a month. Um, I didn't get the chance to edit it today. Um, I was planning to have a whoa. <laughs> um, one second. I, I have the uh, thing pulled up for you guys for what we're going to be talking about today, and didn't know it had an ad in it. Um, so we're going to be talking about Count, Crown Tundra today, my expectations, and then next month we're going to be talking about um, what I liked about it. Now I might do like a double upload um, for the Pokemon week on that, and then the Galar region review. Actually, I'm kind of happy that we're delaying this, so that way I could talk about both Crown Tundra and Isle of Armor. Um, just have to do a quick script, script rewrite and all. Um, obviously this one's not going to be scripted, but it's, I'm going to go over what we know so far um, through a link from Gfinity. Or, I mean, an article from Gfinity. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, and then just my expectations for it. So Crown Tundra will be released on October 23rd. Um, so about two weeks from now um and it's going to be inspired by scotland i see right here um obviously there's going to be a lot more snow because it's a tundra and we're going to be getting the legendary um birds in their galar form we're going to be getting the new reggies um and then some new gigantamax forms and then from what we could tell from the trailer there's going to be a lot more legendaries in general past legendaries and stuff like that um and then we're also oh um i just pulled up galarian slokeen's first look um i'll give my reaction to that in a second but i'm scrolling we also have a lot more um stuff showing what's been introduced so we'll have regice red rock reg steel um reggie draco reggie electric um galarian slow king amora Ariwit, auroras i don't know why i try to say it like that the nidos um Sveal line gibble line zubat line electro buzz line which is great um, I could finally use my shiny Electra Buzz and make a shiny Electivire. Um, looks like there's going to be a lot more ice types introduced, which was actually going to be something that I was going to say probably will happen. We're also getting Calyrex, which is a Psychic Grass um, legendary Pokemon. That's going to be the new one. And then, like I said, we're going to get a lot more old legendaries introduced, it looks like. Zerude is mentioned in this article. Doesn't really say much about it, but I think, I'm hoping we'll do some sort of max raid battle to get Zerude. Or some sort of side story, kind of like what we did with the Black and White Diamond and Pearl era games. Um, also in this other things that I'm going to be expecting. I'm going to expect, obviously, we're going to have more max raids. We're going to have cave raids, it noticed. Um, I have a feeling that these raids are going to be more legendary focused. So I'm thinking, like, they're going to make it where the base games max raids are going to be base Pokemon. The um, They're going to change Isle of Armor to be more focused on stronger Pokemon or pseudo legendaries hopefully and then the raids in the Crown Tundra might become just legendary raids or something along those lines. I'm hoping it would do something like that. It would kind of feel cool. It would be cool for everybody that bought all the um, DLC and stuff and just a way to differentiate the raids for all the regions. I, I mean all three different islands. So why I'm saying that is because I know you can't access Pokemon from those DLCs on the main game, but what's keeping me from going back to Isle of Armor, Isle of Armor would be that all the new raids in Crown Tundra um, would be the same as the Isle of Armor raids. I feel like 
if we could be like, oh, today I want to go for a legendary raid. And then we go ahead and we go to Crown Tundra for a legendary raid. And then, oh, you know what? I want to fight a stronger Pokemon today. Go to Isle of Armor. I want to just do a base one to get um, some rare candies and EXP candies. You could go to the base one. Um, I also am hoping that we don't just get given Calyrex like we were with Cubfu. Um, it would be nice to get a gift Pokemon walking in, but I hope it's not, you know, just given to you and, um, and it's a super powerful Pokemon like Cubfu. Um, I hope they also make it easier to get the max mushrooms, excuse me, for the max raid soups. Um, next, I want to kind of talk about the new character that's introduced. I can't remember his name right now. I'm trying. That's why I pulled up this article. I was hoping to find him. Um, um, sorry for the silence right here. Oh, that's another thing is Pokemon Home is opening to Pokemon Go. So I'm hoping that that will kind of come around the same time. And, oh, I'm literally getting all these updates right now. As you can tell, I've kind of um, expanded on other things. So I'm not 100% Pokemon focused. Um, so some of these updates are a little new to me. So I apologize that I didn't get prepared with the Ash Pikachu hats, um, but I will, that's what came up that got me shocked. Let me just do, you're going to see my ugly fingers for a second. Alright, so let's look at this. But I do remember them talking about how this new character who is helping you explore is related to a past character. Um, so not, oh yeah, Clara? No, not Clara, Peony. So upon arriving to Crown Tundra, you'll be encountering Peony, who has brought his daughter along on an adventure to find the truth behind tales of legendary Pokemon in this area. Let, Listening is in a strong suit, and this bold behavior draws attention, or plenty of attention. But he has some side of plenty of affection for his daughter. Um, so his daughter could be a completely original character, but I like to theorize that it's going to be someone we know, because why aren't we introduced to his daughter yet? Um, given his look and everything, and given that he is a explorer, I could feel that it will probably be either a rock or ice type gym leader. So I'm going to pull up all the rock type gym leaders. It's obviously going to be female, so we're not going to have rock. Um, it could be Roxanne, could be Olivia, um, could be Cher. And let's look at Steel. So if we look at the steel type gym leaders, really the only one that would be open for that would be um, Jasmine. And then I'm going to check ice gym leaders. I don't think there, if I remember right, I don't think there's any, oh, Candace from Snowpoint. Um, so let's look at Candace really quick. So Candace, I don't think it would be Candace. I think the best choice we have right now would have to be um, possibly Olivia. I would think that Olivia, given how she looks compared to Peon or Piani, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, could assume that that could be his daughter. Um, the only other explanation could be it's an all new character, which I'm fine with on that too. Um, but it would be really cool to tie it into another generation. And I could see, even though Gen 7 was just previously made, I could see Olivia 
being the daughter for Kiani, um, or again, just an original character. So I know I didn't really explain much of my expectations, so I'm going to kind of list it really quick. So we have uh, Olivia being the daughter for your new character. Obviously, you're going to be fighting your rival more. Um, you might be giving a gift Pokemon. Hopefully, it is not the legendary. We're going to be facing a lot more legendaries, and they might be classifying different raids on different islands in the completed game. Also, Pokemon Go is going to be connecting to Pokemon Home, so that might bring Gen 7 and maybe Gen 8 together onto Pokemon Go. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to transfer stuff from Go or from home back to Go, but considering that kind of everything's coming together now um, with home, it might just catch up right there. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, it's kind of last minute cobbled together. Um, and stay tuned for next week. We're going to be doing a Star Wars theory video about the desert planets, um, as well as possibly talking about Baby Yoda and his species. So make sure you guys tune in next week. Um, and... After that, we'll be doing a video of me and Angie watching one of the Transformers movies. I believe it's going to be Dark the Moon. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. One last thing, quick update. So Angie started a raffle. Um, well, not started, but she started a subscriber raising thing where if you guys subscribe, my first 100 subscribers, um, we'll do a raffle. And the winner will win a $20 gift card. Um, so Angie is technically sponsoring that. Um, so thank you, Angie. And um, make sure you subscribe so you could be entered to win. Thank you very much. Have a great day. And we're all Pokemon Masters on the inside. Hey, guys.